we think it was worthwhile to bring a, a new document because the myocardial injury has been a word being used uh, more and more because of the routine use of high sensitivity uh, troponin um, assays. When you can detect very, very uh, small injury in myocardial in cells, it means that you have more uh, cases with injury of the myocardium than you had before. Myocardial injury is an element of the definition of myocardial infarction when you have it in the setting of ischemia or myocardial ischemia. But now we would like to stress that myocardial injury is also an entity in itself. And there we come into where we can detect myocardial injury and where we should think about it. And there is a lot of many scenarios where we have listed in the, in the documents. When we now are talking about myocardial injury, and when we have that in the context of myocardial uh, ischemia, that is the definition of myocardial infarction. But if we think that the, uh, in the event there's no plug rupture of the coronary arteries, we cannot call that for type one. That is by definition in myocardial infarction type two. The problem here and the difficulties here is to detect myocardial uh, ischemia in patients where you have myocardial in injury and that could be many, many uh, different uh, scenarios and many different cases where a patient is admitted to hospital where they have a disease, for, uh, an renal disease, uh, other infectious disease and, and so on. That is, uh, if they have elevated troponins, that is called myocardial injury. But if there's also detected myocardial is uh, ischemia, for example, by ECD, by, uh, by ECHOs, and by other uh, testing, then it's type 2. But that could be difficult, and therefore there's so much uh, discussion about that. Where go the limits between myocardial injury and type 2 myocardial infarction? And in that uh, case, additional uh, examination of the patient can be needed.